hello and welcome to yet another exciting episode of Churchill Show Journey Series Edition. Now today it's a bit different. Come on, have you to come mamba sani? I don't come on on a my I know what one uliza. Bono nava jacket na ukomombasa. I tell you, this morning kumenyesha. It's been raining. It's very cold in Mombasa. Why it's yellow? <laughs> I had to represent, all right? So Karibuni Sana Mombasa. By the way, Mombasa is open. The flights are back and everyone is excited. The hotels are opening up. The economy is opening up. Jameni, usikai bara sana. Utasahau Kiswahili. Especially when I say Kiswahili is in yako. Mombasa imefunguliwa come back. One thing I like about Mombasa is the way it has warm people. Everybody smiles at you. Yeah. Una, ukija Mombasa kutembelea ata rafiki ama uh, your relative they stop everything wakushughulikie wakupeleke bichi uende unywe pweza they tell you nice things i don't know why watu wa Mombasa wakija Nairobi ama miji mingine we don't treat them the same way mtu ametoka Mombasa amekuja i say nimefika bus station sasa nifanyaje mwambie niko busy na why are we always busy now that's why Mombasa has for the longest time been the number one destination in Africa. Today we want to do it a bit different. Thank you so much for your feedbacks and comments. Your request is our command. Waje watu mekua kisema, sasa lete musicians, sasa lete leaders, sasa lete footballers. Okay, everyone has a journey. And so on today's uh, journey series edition, we take a different turn. We focus on our leaders. And every week we'll be changing the topics and our guests depending on who you request. And we're glad today that we are here in Mombasa County 001. And I'll tell you why we are here. When we were doing Churchill Show, ilikuwa carnival. Tunachapa carnival year in, year out. Even the days of ridiculous, year in, year out. Tulikuwa pale, hakuna kutoka. Then someone dared us to try doing the show out of Nairobi. And that person was a, a governor, County 001, Ali Hassan Job. And so he said, there's no way atakuja Nairobi, tuje Mombasa, na ametualika. And so we gave it a try, and that's where Churchill Show on the roads began. And he believed in us, there was massive support, and we're glad we've been able to tour so many counties. Thanks for that first step that we were given and granted uh, in Mombasa, and the awesome reception and welcome uh, from Mombasa people. So today we start yet another journey, the Journey Series Edition. We'll be doing our leaders. And so just to go back to where it all started, uh, so we felt it was just right. And thank you so much for your request to go back where it started. In our Journey Series Edition, we feature our first guest, the governor of County 001, Sultan Hali Hassan Jo. Let's take a walk down the lane. So, my name is Hassan Ali Joho, the first governor of Mombasa. Today, I've brought my brother Churchill to this place. Up and on Elizaliwa, this is where I was born. This is where I lived through my entire primary school life. Just as I was going to class seven, I'm in Tulihama Hapa. So I wanted to take you through. So this is where this property still belongs to the family. So if you'll allow me, I will want to walk you through. Mimi ni nilizaliwa kwa hii nyumba in the 70s. Lakini hapa kote kumebadilika. Life at that time was very different. Siku zile ndo tulikuwa tuko na zile values za community za ujamaa na undugu. So nakumbuka majirani zangu wote hapa how we grew up, you know, how we used to play, who was our neighbor on the other side and uh, if this house 
hapa mbele ilikuwa kuna some open field kando, kando ya baraza there was some open field where people used to grow flowers kids used to play nyumba tuko na jirani but the, you you'll be surprised that's why i said the values of community at that time were far much different from today because with the back windows we used to communicate and have conversations through when you need help when you need salt when you need sugar when you need a bit of oil ukitumwa na either your mother or your grandmother you just go through a window to the other window so nyumba hizi na kuanga na vitochoro so every family ulikuwa na ziba kichochoro so it became an extension of the house so at that corner my late grandmother used to make vitumbua every every afternoon so she prepares for the night because hiyo ni ile mchele ndogo ndogo you prepare it through the night and then you actually make it uh, at around 3 4 so whenever i used to come back from school my grandmother was at that, at that corner before we had extended that kitotoro and then my job now would be to pack kubeba kutoka nje mtaani hapa waenda nao to supply and start selling so hata mkileta stories za kuuza vitu mimi naweza kuwashinda mbaya sana sababu so nikianza hapo nilikuwa naanza hivyo tutembea vitumbua 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 hapa i used to sleep here here me and my brother used to sleep here and i have a sister called Latifa and I have another sister called Aluya Aluya is in Canada my sister lives here because they were the girls and we had also another cousin called Nahia they used to stay with us so wao wasichana they would sleep in the room because girls are girls and uh, they would sleep now with our mothers and my grandmother and then Mimi uh, my brother Nasir and we had a cousin called Mohammed I think he passed on we used to sleep here Cho ndio hiyo the interesting story would be in the morning kiamka sasa mtaka kimbilia cho unapata foleni kwanza so kiamka mapema ndio unawahi mapema so i can never forget the day one of my uncles now my aunt's husband uh, the late nalel we call him nalel because his family is called nalel uh, he was you know his life was getting better so he brought us mfereji waju you know we used to shower with those couples you know but now he came and put us the shower kaweka hapo that's the first thing he did for us so it became like our main story with our uh you know majirani for like a whole month kwetu kuna mfereji wa juu and would even bring some people kuja uone hapo and then ile ndo ile cho ya kujisaidia the last one over there ilikuwa kuna ile ya chini so as we developed again my uncle came and built hiyo ya kukaa that became another inter- interesting story Every time we went to school we used to tell people kwetu kuna choo cha kukaa my friend. And then we had makuti here. God blessed uh, my uncle again. Na tunamwombea Mungu all that he did. He be rewarded where he is today at Peter. So he brought my body. And I can tell you in this whole area there was the house behind here and there was another house on the other side. Those are the only three houses that had my body at that time. Every other half was just makuti so i think we are on the fourth to have done mabati so when we did our mabati again we were taking pride like nyumba yetu ni ya mabati tumetoka category ya umaskini tuko pale sasa kwa wadosi and those things really excited us at that time and that is where we have come from maisha ilianzia huko slowly we moved then we moved to with my mother now and i used to stay both in my aunt's house this one here jamila Ombea Mungu ampatie maisha and my mother. So I would spend weekend at her place and weekdays at my mother. Like that and we grew up. Went to school in uh, Tomboya Primary. We used to go to madrasa. It was asa sisi hapa. There was a madrasa here like half a kilometer away in, the, in, in a mosque. So we did that and then we used to walk through to Tomboya Primary School. We did all our primary school there and then moved my mother 
moved now to a house near the school and where the stadium is. We stayed there, continued with our school there to the Maliza Hapo and then I skipped for about a year because uh, of the challenges. We couldn't, my mother could not, the family could not pay for my education. So I took a break for about a year. Then I went to, they enrolled me at Burhania, but it turned out to be a bit expensive. Then I ended up at Serani Secondary School. That's where now I come Maliza Hapo from four. Uh, then I started life. But before that, Nikiwa from three, Nilianza Kujitaftia to do all, all sorts of jobs. Wangalia, how I personally can be able now to support the family Kutupeleka Mbele. So I used to work. From school, I used to work. At some point, I even had some kind of an agreement with the principal. Like, you know, my background is different, probably different from all the other kids here. So you must allow me space to be able to do certain things. Like, don't judge me with my uniform. If I come sometimes dirty, just understand that I have one seat and we don't have dry cleaners or washing machine. But I needed to do a job at some point to be able now to go back home. So it became a bit difficult to wash your uniform on time, press them on time, and be able to go back to school the following day clean. So we had a, a deal with my principal. And then his name is called Muhammad Ali. So sometimes would even allow me to leave school at three. So that I had to do a certain job. Pole Pole to Kaza. Started working at the old port as a Hamadi, Gunia, Lori. The money that I made at that time supported me to continue uh, with my education. Because whatever I could raise, then I had an elder brother, what she could raise, my aunt, my mother, they put uh, some kind of a kitty and then we continue with our education. So it was a struggle. But it taught us many things. Now what helped me when I went to do that Kibaru at Allport is to be able now to make a decision for my life. Because after that, I made a decision that I'm never going to seek employment. And I never sought employment. From there, I was able to learn to do business. And it was at the time that Somalia had just started to be, whatever, the civil war. And a lot of Somalis were coming in. People were coming in with a lot of items. Uh, that were sailing as crep metals and then they used to import stuff that they kept in Somalia. So all of a sudden as a very young boy I became a sales agent. I could convince them that you see me here every day uh, loading these trucks of scrap metals and what have you. Give me this to be able to sell for you. So I would sell fridges, I would sell rice within the villages now that I used to live in. And slowly I grew and found the life requires someone to make that one important decision that you know what, you can do this. Sana mezaliwa hapa nyumba hii. Tukuwa kwa alhamdulillah tukiishi hivo hivo vizuri. Sana usimuanze wetu. Ya mzuri sana, kiu kimuanza yesu kubali. Penda kutuza mpira hapa mtaani kwetu kuna mtoto zake kwa nao. Na bibi yake kipika vitumbua kija hapa muzia. Azungusha zungo mse mtaani, alhamdulillah. Katuka ndugi zake, ye uwezi kukompe na mali. Ye mkali sana, kite zewa uwezi kubali. Awezi kubali ndugi zake mafanywe kitu ye. Ndugi zake wasichana. Ye awezi kubali, ata mbonga na otu. Kenda skuli, nufomba kumbibe nyengine. Manake apigeza makelele. Ata kuna kusoma ye, alhamdulillah. Lakini hata kubali ye. Toka mdogo tunapenda sana minadadangu. Mimi mkubwa, mamaki ni mdogo. Mama ke, alhamdulillah, mungkin semua mereka kembali ke rumah. Aku fah. Welcome to Mombasa Cardinals Drive Nas Smiles. We provide you with the best of cars from Japan, UK, and Thailand. We provide the most flabbergasting higher purchases, cash, and bank finances deals in Kenya. We stock more than 150 units at one time. Consisting of commercial, semi-commercial, private and highly executive cars. We guarantee you care. The best deals that you can get. And the best value for your hard-earned money. And the integrity that every individual deserves in this world. We have a very nice, polite and humble staff to handle you with utmost care. For all your inquiries and demands, kindly call 0729 
0729786110. That's 0729786110. Mombasa car deals. Drive na smile. Finally, it's here. It's right here. Mombasa car deals. For all your car deals, you have a mask. Mombasa car deals. Drive na smile. Ah, ah. Got it. Welcome back to Churchill Show Journey Series Edition. As we start our Journey Series Edition, you leader, we decided to go back where it is began. County 001 with my very good friend, His Excellency Ali Hassan John. Hey, bro. Mazayo ni refu sana hiyo. Sana. Intro siya kawinda. Eh, siya kawinda. Cheki, KJ. KJ likuwa na interview the other day. We had a talk. Haka nikumbusha the first ever Eh, ridiculous ilikuja Mombasa wakati huo yeah. eh, wakumbuka very well cost car park cost car park yes nakumbuka sana nita sawa aje eh, we were excited that eh, at that point eh, sisi tulikuwa vijana eh, yeah. but what excited us most is eh, that kuna vijana yeah. that uh, they were doing something extraordinary yes out of the norm you yeah. know things that were not done before yes and we wanted to identify mm. uh, with the cause. Yes. And I cannot forget yeah. how you came, how we picked you up. Where did you work? Mimi mwenyewe ndio ulikuwa naendesha kwa gari. Yaani wewe ndio wewe ndio ulikuwa dere. Ulikuwa beba akina ridiculous. Yes. Yes. Bagaye uh, nyambani was acting as moy. Yeah. It was a big big thing. Hata mimi nilikuwa kijana mdogo sana. Eh najua lakini tuliwa beba. Ah sante sana. And don't ask ah. me where the vehicle came from. <laughs> <laughs> that, that that on its own is going to be a long story. It is another long story. Like I said, but we made it. You, we made it, and it, it happened. Yes, and uh, we we still talk about it yes. when we yes. tell our young people yes. our life story. Yes, is all as yes it goes. As yes it goes. They're uh, a part of our, our success story. Yes, that young people can help each other. Yeah, and be able to make a difference in in our lives. Yeah. And I really like it because uh, your support ilianza kitambo sana hata mziki wa 001 kwanza susumila hebu naambia juzi amfaya kazi nzuri sana susumila susumila 001 susumila ko na talent kubwa sana yeah and personally i realized mm. we have talent here yeah the only thing is that uh, i want to support yeah. and that is why to lesema we work we put some deliberate efforts yes to ensure yeah. that we give them the support that they need yeah. so the rest is for them now to generate content yeah. you know observe certain standards yes. but for us if we want them to compete yeah. uh, with others in east africa or yeah. eastern and central africa yeah. uh, we have to put in some investment and that's why uliona Zero zero one music and anza kuchipuka and i na faka nzuri sana and not only you don't just support you even know the song Come <laughs> if I told you some of some of those songs, if you ask Susumila when you meet him, yeah. I help them right. to, to write the song. Ah, mashairi. Oh, fundisha tu. Kama upi. Kido kido go to. Kama 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 rainbow ikitengazwa ni kuapo na angali. Upi upi wa na ju wa rainbow. Taka wa rainbow wa Mombasa. Na wa Nairobi pia. Unge subiri kwa sasa. Do you hear? Tulisa idia. Susumila na wengine wengi sana. Ah. To be honest there is talent. Yes, talent yeah. uh, in Mombasa. Kenya there is talent. Yeah. Mombasa there is talent. Yeah. We are uh, mm. advantaged because yeah. of the language. Yeah. Tunaweza kuimba mashairi. Yeah. We can tell a story yeah. in a song. Yeah. Yeah. Mashairi. Uh, Tunaweza kukuimbia paka ukaingia box. Yeah. Tunaweza kukusaidia. <laughs> <laughs> kama hiyo kama hiyo warembo ukitumia uh, ukimdungia mtu uh, anaweza kukusikiza straight <laughs> uh, straight up <laughs> uh, na ile nyingine kaitwaje ka Catalina ka, ka Ah ya hiyo ni huko. Kwa no mtu niliambia mtu unaja kuzungumza nayo. The, the first thing waliniambia, hebu muulize kama asha wai sota, ushaketi bila pesa wewe. Niambia haya basi, haya swala ndio hilo. 
kusota tumesota e. na kusota kwetu e. ilikuwa mafunzo ya maisha because mm. we learned a lot mm. katika ule msoto eh yeah. uh, hela tume, tu, we've had a very humble beginning yeah Ku, ku, kukosa hela yeah. is one thing yeah kuwa na deficit yani madeni yani yes. rivers yeah. is another story yeah. <laughs> so we came from that point ambayo tulikuwa tuko nyuma mm. wacha kuwa na hela paka yeah. ufike kwanza ulipe madeni ndio uwe na hela alafu uendelee yeah. so sisi tumetoka mimi mwenye and my family yeah. tumetoka huko tumetoka mbali sana yeah. lakini naye eh, mungu akitaka kupatia mm. anakupatia sababu ndogo ndogo tu yeah. Uh, ambazo zinakubadilishia maisha. Mm. So kusota tumesota tu sana. Yeah. Sana. Kwanza umeongea Julia hata wewe shawe kwa wa madeni. <laughs> ah. Madeni tena mbaya sana. <laughs> tena sio madeni ya luxury. Yeah. There's a difference there. Yeah. Kuna ile madeni ambayo unaenda kuchukua to buy a good shirt. Yes. Or you tell uh, someone yeah. nipe hii shati nzuri nitakulipa. Yeah. Kuna ile ya kuchukua maziwa ya chai. Ah. Eh, ama kuchukua unga kupika ugali ama sima. Yes. Sisi sisi hapa tunaitanga sima. Eh, si ugali. Ugali ni kule. Hapa yeah. ni sima. Ile unga ya kupika sima hauna. Hayo ndio madeni tunaanzia yeah. hapo. Yeah. Then you go uh, because where we used to live yeah. ni mtaani. Mm. So there will be like two shops. Si pale majengo sasa. Pale sidiria pale. Sidiria. <laughs> there is there be like two shops and I yeah. used to know all the owners of the shops. Mm na shop moja mjamaa kwa anaitwa Mahadi yeah. and there's another one i think the guy was called Fuad yeah. you have to keep a good relationship with him because yeah. siku ambaye kumekosekana chumvi yeah. unaenda kuambia uh, chumvi yeah, mama amesema yeah. atalipa kesho na ama kesho kutu ama yeah. next month yeah. na sisi kule kwetu yeah. where we've come from mm. tulikuwa chumvi they were never you see you buy packed chumvi dukani inafunguliwa yeah. inaanza kufunga kidogo kidogo sasa Wana. for those that can afford yeah. so ile kitu ya 100 mm. inaweza katwa kama mara 10 ndio ikuwe 10 bob 10 bob 10 bob so everybody can buy so when did you get your first big check ukasikia ah sasa nimeanza kuwa na matumaini first of all yeah. unajua mimi nilikuwa na nafanya kibarua mm. from school yeah. nilipoanza towards the end of form 2 I introduced myself to a certain job I used to do mm. Kibarua. Mm. Uh, I found an opportunity. Yeah. Uh, at that time kulikuwa hizi meli ndogo ndogo sana zinakuja hapa Old Port. Yeah. And wale watu wa pale mtahani yeah. that area yeah. they used to go there mm. to earn something. So mm. I used to every three or four or five o'clock I used to go. Yeah. I'll get one truckload yeah. because people have worked probably the entire day. Yeah. Me I may get one truckload yeah. to help work on that one track load yeah. and i would make some money but i learned so much mm. because of that because mm. i saw how people imported people yeah. used to clear yeah. and what they needed to clear yeah. so at that point i decided mm. uh, to identify na kazi gani going yeah. going forward okay lakini kusa tumesa kazi ya uhamali tumefanya my friend yeah gunia hapa uhamali kubeba hapa hapa eh yeah. <laughs> Zaman you thought, you thought I was going you would, you would have thought I was going to the gym. Yeah. Kini hakuna gym. Yeah. Ni magunia ya wenyewe tu. Ya unabeba. Mm. Loading. Loading. And of loading. Who that one guy like we introduce? Ukasema. No, so, maisha ni kuna kwa jamaa na kuonyesha hii ndio njia. So I have a, I have an elder brother. Yeah. He's a brother of mine. Mm. Uh, he started driving. Yeah. Mapema. Mm. And I named after Jiji to he yeah. used to work in a in a garage. Yeah. Like in there he learned how to drive. Okay. So kanza kuendesha to those people that used to import uh, stuff from Somalia mm. that Somalia at that time Somalia had just started mambo ya vita so the people were moving away from Somalia yeah. and majority of them if you remember yeah. the biggest uh, refugee camp was yeah. here in Mombasa mm. at Utange. Mm. So majority of them they came by sea. Yeah. So my brother found his way into the into that system. Okay and i started now working for some of those people okay. and that's how i went in yeah. and got the opportunity ya kufanya hiyo kazi hapo so my, my elder brother held my hand at that point yeah, yeah. Mm. what's the one thing you like to tell him that i always care uh, this brother of mine he knows <laughs> he's not only a brother yeah. people say many things about yeah. our relationship yeah. but uh, he more or less stepped in as a father as a father figure yeah so 
we give him utmost respect yeah. because of his contribution in our lives, yeah. me particularly. Yeah. And we love him for what he has done for us. Yeah. Uh, you make some 2,000 shillings yeah. and you give to your family or you look after your younger brother yeah. with 1,950 wow. or sometimes 2,100. That's your brother. So we, we hold him high, okay. with very high regard. You talked about your mom, but your dad, do that. My dad is, uh, used to work for KPA. Yeah. He lives here, not so far off from me. Yeah. He was a footballer. <laughs> if I gave him an opportunity to marry, even today, he'll marry again. Bado <laughs> <laughs> uh, Of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's a wonderful guy, yeah. he's a good father, mm. uh, I may struggle through his life. Mm. He worked at KPA until retirement. What? So I require in the, in the time clock office, you know, where you clock in when you get into work. Yeah, he worked cool. in that office for so long. Yeah. That is why it was even easier for me when I got into politics. Yeah. Because Zamani, yeah. a, a lot of our local people yeah. somehow worked at the port or they were connected with families that worked at the port. Okay. So when I introduced myself in politics, yeah. a lot of the Wazes yeah. in Mombasa would easily identify me, yeah. Mtotowa Mzejoho. Oh, so, so my father had a nickname called Jumbe. Yeah, Jumbe. Yeah. Jumbe. And then I, that's how I grew slowly, I grew my support. Okay. And because he was in it was a time clock. Yeah. It means therefore everybody that goes to work okay. had to go through his office. Okay. So uh, he, <laughs> was, he was he was Banajumbe. He was Maruf, and then he was a footballer yeah. a long time ago. Okay. So it helped me a great deal. Okay. Mliketi na yako ile nyumba. Sasa mimi, you know, they separated with my mother. Oh. They, when they separated, I ended up being with my mother. Okay. So I lived with my mother all through my life. Oh. He was living in another place. Okay. But my elder brother spent a bit more time with uh, him, with him okay. before now even him, he came back and, and lived with, the, with us and yeah. my mother, yeah. I'd want to hear about your mom because your mom... My, ma my mother was my best friend. My mother shaped me to, to be what I am today. She taught me many things about life. She yeah. guided me, she counseled me, mm. she ensured yeah. I am that man that understands life mm. uh, and taught in totality mm. what comes with life. To be honest, I've had many friends. Yeah. Uh, I have best friends now, yeah. but I have never had yeah. a friend that was as close to me as my late mother. She was my everything. She struggled for me mm. and she came from a fairly big family. So even her contribution towards my political career was immense. And she struggled through her life. Yeah. She brought us up there really hard way. Yeah. Um, she did business, she tried, she even had a kiosk. The hardest moment yeah. of my life yeah. was one day. Yeah. Because while we were leaving, my mother outside put a table yeah. and some mabati on top. Yeah. And she started selling tomatoes and onions. <laughs> Yeah. So one of the hardest moments of my life is that yeah. I'm a primary school pupil yeah. and I see my mother being arrested for not having a license and she's been walked to uh, Makuba police station. Yeah. It pains me so much and I could not, I could not do anything at that time. Uko primary side. Niko primary na anaenda na muona huyo anachukuliwa kabisa na police. Sababu, she was operating a kiosk without, a, without license. a license. But she did all that so that she could put a meal on, her, on the table for us. Your mom, Kabla, Kabla Tuache, had she seen you about to succeed? Aliona success yako? First of, first of all, I'm not the last born, neither am I the first born. Mini yeah. kuapa katikati. Yeah. But siku uh, zote watu nasemanga, mothers, somewhat favor the last one the last one yeah. or sometimes the first one yeah. in me I, I consider myself very lucky because honestly yeah. she favored me all through and to a point when she was really ill she went into a coma 
And when she came out of her coma for a while, before she passed on, she summoned all of us and asked for just one thing in our family, where we had all my brothers and my sister. She said, I just want to tell you, this guy here now me, the son of mine, whatever he needs from you, Yani promised me today, Mutampatia. I had a mother who taught me many things. I was telling people a story. She was a very religious uh, person. So she would not allow us to do certain things. Konzo is a girlfriend boyfriend. Yeah. My friend, if she, if she caught me today with a woman, yeah. she would ensure she marries me off. That's how Kishikwa. Sometimes I as Muslims. Yeah. You bring a kadi and you know it's 10 minutes, you're done. Yeah. So she called me once. Because she was my friend, I pleaded with her, Mom, I plead with you. Yeah. Here, yeah. don't embarrass me. Yeah. 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 Mama, me, me. Tena, at that time, by the way, yeah. I, was, uh, I was an MP. Okay. I Come on, please, Mama, I beg you, don't embarrass me. Yeah. I promise you this will be the last. Yeah. And she would understand. And later on, we'd go home and have a conversation. And I'm glad that God allowed me the opportunity yeah. to take care of her even during her, yeah. towards her last days of her life. Yeah. It's yeah, tough. It's yeah. really tough. Yes, it's tough. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's not easy. Yeah. Uh, someone told me, you are the mother. You are a very My good mother's cook. elder sister. Yes. Mm. <laughs> yeah. You see, she's called Jamila, uh, Jamila Abdullah Abdurrahman Afwa. Yeah. That's not, this one is elder to my mother. Yeah. My mother was Kulthum yeah. Abdullah Abdurrahman Afwa. Ah, sir. And you know Because, sister, you know, when you leave, when you live in a small house, yeah. like where we used to live, we didn't have the comfort of being in rooms or yeah. living rooms or family mm. lounges. Yeah. Sometimes you sit or you even sleep by the side of the kitchen. Yeah. So where I used to sit, I used to see them cook all the time. Nakahapa, sometimes I'll be doing my homework here yeah. and there is the kitchen. Yeah. So they will be <laughs> cooking right there. Yeah. So you by, by default or by whatever it is, you learn how to cook. You learn how to cook. That's what I'm to tell you. I'm happy to do that. That's an amazing story of Sultan. Don't go away. We'll be right back after the break. And of course, I'll reveal it with Master Sumil. Why do you? I can't say that you can't be a as well. To put your money in some more rainbow mombas. To be a funny chip to chombeza. Yahoo, walk on your own gem with you. Yes, Sumil. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Will Sultan. Uh, on the journey series. We'll be right back. Two topic anini. Topic to the world. Right, right. If you come to Masan, how are you doing? Well, it's time to come back to Mombasa, travel, Shafunguliwa, everything is okay. I hope you're sanitizing, wearing your mask. Or keeping your social distance. What was chance of being here, Mombasa? See, thanks to Bonfire Adventures. Thank you so much for making it possible for us to be here. Nashkuru sana, sana, sana. Let's do this, Mombasa. Come on, come on, Kisumu, Nairobi, come back. Yeah. Oh, are you? 
Kituna isasema tumekua tukilalamika for long uh, that uh, miziki yetu waichezu kule nje vitu kama hivo then uh, governor aka, aka anzisha like initiative ya kutu support kwanza aka niita tumekua tukihang nae mda mrefu so aka niita aka nambia anaeza kunifanya ya nini musicali vitu kama hivo so aka nambia challenge kubwa ambo tuna, tuna face kwenye hii industry ni kutengeneza videos ambazo zineza compete na wasani kutoka nchi zingine ama kutoka Nairobi na sehemu zingine za Kenya. So aka tuka tukaongea, tukaanzisha kitu kama movement ambayo inaitwa 001 Music. I know you like me, I know you feel me. I know you want a life around me. So Mbapo sana sana anakuwa hea na tufund Wasani kutoka Mombasa, Coast Region na pia Kenya Nzima Governor Joe ni mtu ambea napenda music sana Napenda watu wakiendelea ni mtu ambea napenda kusaidia watu na vile vitu wanafanya Kwa mfano kwa mba ile kolabo ambo mimi mefanya na Lava Lava Ye ya li nipigia simu wakanambia ah ni meungia na Lava Lava Nataka mfanya na ye kazi so we panga kuhusu trip ya kwenda Tanzania kurekodi na kila kitu na video na kila kitu unipatie budget alafu uh, nita, nita kusaidia kabla nishikane na yama tu, uh, anze kunisaidia kufanya hizi vitu ambazo tunafanya sahi ilikuwa ni nafanya kazi yes watu wananijua lakini siku wana ule uwezo kwa sababu nili, nilifanya nikafanya mziki ikafika place ambao sasa siezi kuendelea kwa sababu pale ambapo nimefika ni mahali ambapo kuna taka deep pockets vitu kama hivyo kwa sababu nifika time Kenya nimechezwa, nimeonekana Kenya, but natakana nitoke kule nji. Nye shimike zaidi. But uh, since yetu wanze kufanya kazi, na I think project ya tawa tuwenye wa naono kwa sabi sayi, tuko kwa tikata maungezi na watu kama kina fali ipupa kufanya nae kazi. Tuku, kuna kazi tunafanya kina, na, na, kina nandi na vitu kama hivo. So, mimi na wenzangu, hapo nyuma sana sana rukua tunaliyalia sana. Vitu kama hivo, I think, sayi vileo vimepungua kwa sabu. Anyone, akimu approach, anamsaidi, I think, ata sayi kuna EPP ya masauti mbapo hii tena bado kama hivyo so naweza sema tuna mshukuru sana kwa ile support ambayo ametupatia sisi kama wasani kutoka huu pande wa Kenya kwa sababu kuna vitu vingi sana ambavyo tulikuwa hatuwezi kujifanyia wenyewe ama hatuwezi kufanya kwa sababu mambo mengine yanahitaji hela ndefu but yeye amejitolea from his own pocket nimefikia kwamba i think uh, last year for the first time nilifanya show nikalipwa like 5000 dollars then after that nikaja nikafanya sh tena show ambao sijawahi i was paid 10000 dollars ambapo I think kwa msani kama mimi ambe mmetoka same self, kama huku kwa mba mtu wanalipwa milioni moja ya Kenya ni kama kitenda wili kikubwa sana. So na heza sema yale maono yake na ule usaidizu wake umekua umeni transform mimi kutoka msani wa kawaida mpaka na kwa msani ambe kwa mba na heza nikaitisha hila ndefu na mtu wa sione uguma ama sione uchungu kunipatia hile hila kwa sabu ni mifanya kazi kubwa na zimeonekana. Kwanza tunaanza kwa kabitungu wafa ndiyo kabita ni hive Umezema alitabu kazi Umezema chakula wana, chakupikia si? Eee, kujali? Asanta So wakati vitungu unaanza kuendelea So that they be cooked, eh? Unaanza kudili na tomote The thinner the slice is the better The thinner Ambia? Niko saa. Hmm? Swafi. Haa. Sasa yumi, si yumi nita kerevenja hape, yangu nitokoi. Haa. Tapika kwanzi ya subuhi. So growing up, eh? One of the things that we did. Yeah. You see pasta? Yeah. Now because when the Somalis came in, it was very easy to access pasta. Yeah. So, kama hauna pesa. Hmm. Pasta does well with milk and sugar. Mm. Oil it, mm. put milk and sugar, mm. and you eat it. Mm. So complete meal. Mm. And it tastes really nice. Yeah. Kama una nyama, 
Chemsha pasta. Weka kwa maziwa yeah. na bit of sugar. Yeah. You're fine. You're for a young person. For a young person. You can survive easily with that. Na sasa kuhizi achievements zote apart from hata kupika kupika ni achievement which is your best. Unasema ga hivi ah mimi wala hii hapa nilipiga hii nilijaribu. It must be a combination of many things man. Mm. It must be a combination of many things. Mm. Cooking is one. Mm. Just having your time to mm. do other things is another. Mm. Whether it's playing golf, mm. whether it's playing soccer. Mm. Whether it's just listening to music, yeah. whether it's biashara, mm. I think mean, the magic word is finding the balance. Finding the balance. You have to be able to find, a find the balance. And once you do that, then you can enjoy what you do. When I chase a golf, golf ni 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 na chase and I'll tell you why. Yeah. I've tried to identify what is this sport that I can play. Yeah. Even mungwa ni jere ni fike seventy eighty. And if you went for example to Nyali Golf Club, mm. you can see you are there that are 80 years old, yeah. but they still play golf. Mm. So you want to do something. Yeah. I'm playing soccer now, but will I be able to play soccer at 70? Probably no. Or 80? No. Mm. But golf you can play even if you're 90. We have members that are 90 that come every afternoon to play golf. Mm. And that's why I started playing golf. Because I know yeah. at Anikizeka, that sport that I'd be able to continue to play yeah. is golf. Amazing. That's your hope. Now one is also. Mm. Dance and let's hope is the Now one is the manga. Yeah. The four clubs. Yeah. What yeah. I say manga at the golf ni mchezo ya matajiri it's not true. Yeah. Sometimes you realize that it's more expensive to do other sports yeah. than golf. Cuz for example if you have a club like kama yetu mm. I think it's about 100,000 a year. Yeah. If you go to play soccer yeah. the, with these fields that are uh, these artificial turf fields that are made now, even in Lovington and what have you, yeah. for every half an hour or 40 minutes, mm. you pay 5,000. Yeah. So cumulative, it may be the same cost, even or maybe more. golf is even cheaper. It's even cheaper. Yeah. The perception. Perception. This is your favorite song. Katerina, first of all. It was trending all over. Mm. Huh? <laughs> yeah? Yeah? Katerina, it's amazing how Unaeza cram all those words. You just love good music. I'm not sure. I didn't know. I was too. 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 <laughs> Sophia, I want to look at you, baby. Kidogo. As a leader, I expect love. No, but it's. Tara, Taka, Kaswida, No. The point is, people must understand. Even when you're a leader, or even if you're a leader, you have a life. You have a life. Mm. You can do the official stuff. You know, like today I went to launch the water project. Mm. After that, I went to oversee some distribution that we're doing for the vulnerable families. Mm. What is wrong with I spend two minutes to enjoy music? You because deserve it. I am still human, mm. and I'm allowed to enjoy mm. uh, and live life. Yeah. So. I don't I don't work 24/7. Yeah. I I do what I need to do. Mm. But then I also have to find time for yourself, for myself. Nianze kuimba nyimbo za kina Susumila. Mapenda Susumila. Ana tawa nini? Coastal finest. Yeah. 001. 001. That's your these are, by the, these are the people Susumila and his group are the ones that started you know building the 001 mm. uh, music brand. Yeah. yeah. Which has taken off really well. Yeah. He was telling me alikuwa na shows mpaka mepangiwa za mascot. If it were not for Corona, yeah, it would be doing well. But then again, we have other artists also supporting. You know, Masauti is our boy here. Masauti wapa. Wamburi wapa. Na na kujia viba ya. Very good time. Ako kina Dazla, you know, the collab we did with Juakani. I love that. Amazing. Zig zig zag, zig zig zag. 
It's our, our responsibility is to push them. And to grow the talent. And then now we have a baby what we need. I believe strongly mm. you know, in the next few years mm. the content that is generated from here yeah. it will be able to compete. Hata na wabongo. Because I it's about stories. Yeah. Na tonga ni mashairi. Mashairi. Na ndugu zangu wanazitoa sasa. So do you want to see yourself way after politics still involved in content creation? Now what was the plan? First of all because I am a governor yeah. today. I lead everybody. Mm. I lead from the holiest mm. to the worst, yeah. to the drunkard, yeah. to whoever. From a pastor mm. to imam to the musician. What a wang. What a wang. Mm. I am their leader. Mm. So I have the responsibility today mm. to be able to deliver across the world. So I will do what I can today as governor. Mm. When I leave this office of being governor, we shall see what comes uh, uh, with the future. But I know for a fact that uh, I've made friends. People have become really close uh, with me. Some of them have become brothers. Some have become sisters. Yeah. And uh, I don't believe our relationship will end mm. with my being governor. Yeah. So we'll somehow continue with our relationship. Mm. And if I still be able to assist, mm. without a doubt, we'll be assisting them. Said mm. mm. Thank you so much. I don't even know the matter. I think it's watermelon. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. And thanks always for opening doors for us. You're always the first one. So on the way you may come again one kwanza, Journey Series Edition, our leaders, and I appreciate every day. Thanks for opening the doors. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be able to tell my story. You know, when someone's story is someone's story is told by other people, yeah. it's always distorted. Yeah. You will never get the facts as they as they were. Yeah. So thank you for allowing me that opportunity mm. to be able to tell my story. In the future, we'll talk about part two, part three. Yeah, <laughs> And what what the future holds, of course. Oh, okay. And thanks. You have a beautiful, beautiful place. Thank you, bro. Just like you. What will Mesemo Apatia Kofi and Tawapatia? Yeah, I'll for sure send them to you. Yeah, and you deserve the best. And so that's it uh, from 001 uh, headquarters in his residence. Really appreciate him for opening the doors for us to come just have a chat with him. Kamaraf uh, Kietu, Kamaraf Kiangu. And uh, I'm glad we started a new chapter in uh, Journey Series. Let me know who else you want featured on this. Uh, series Churchill Show. Thank you so much for support. We appreciate you. Enjoy yourself. Nikimalizia chakula kitamu nimetangezewa na Sultan. We'll see you next week in the next edition of uh, January series. Enjoy yourself.